What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka All Fires. Now in case you missed the initial story, it broke late last night, January 1st, that Jeremy Renner had been in a serious snow plowing accident, had been airlifted to the hospital, and was listed in critical but stable condition. Today we have a huge update about exactly what happened and the nature of his extensive injuries and blood loss. This as reported by comicbook.com, quote, there are new reports regarding the injuries sustained by Jeremy Renner in a snow plowing accident on New Year's Day. The star of Hawkeye and the mayor of Kingstown was airlifted by helicopter to a hospital in the Reno, Nevada area on January 1st and was reportedly in critical condition. TMZ has new information and video of Renner's status with a video featuring the actor being taken away in the helicopter. According to a neighbor, Renner was plowing the road outside his Tahoe home when the snowcat machine accidentally ran over one of his legs resulting in heavy blood loss. Another neighbor, who is a doctor, reportedly was able to build a tourniquet to treat the leg until paramedics arrived. They continued by reporting, quote, TMZ also reports that the police treated the area as an active crime scene due to the fact that the snowcat has built-in safety features that should have prevented an accident of this nature. Jeremy Renner is still listed in critical but stable condition with injury suffered after experiencing a weather-related accident while plowing snow. According to his representation, Renner's reps added his family is with him and receiving excellent care. Now quickly, I'm not a doctor by any means. I've never studied medicine, but one of the first comments I saw propagating on the two posts I'm now reporting on were people talking about Jeremy Renner needing his leg amputated because of the tourniquet. What I will say with some light research is that while it used to mean that you would get your limb amputated if they applied a tourniquet. That is a myth. It's not necessarily true. Of course, when they put the tourniquet on, that will make sure that no blood is flowing from that artery, which means that there will be no oxygen to clear out the neurotoxins in your muscles, which means muscle death can occur, but that's only after a substantial amount of time. So bravo to his neighbor who was a doctor and, and got into action, probably saved Jeremy Renner's life, and hopefully they were able to get him to the hospital in time to avoid any further damage to his limb. Of course, that is all purely speculation, and even with these details, details are still limited, so we don't know exactly the nature of how bad he was when he got to the hospital or what's been going on since there. What we will say is that everybody here at the channel in the Marvel community at large and around the world are wishing him a speedy and full recovery. Our positive vibes and prayers are being sent to you and your family, Jeremy. We hope you get better and get better soon. And guys, we will, of course, keep you updated with any updates that break today or in the coming days. Remember, the best way to support us here at the channel is to hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to be entered into our daily giveaways, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.